Incredible momentum continuous for base shift 26 is now deep into its static for campaign. Why booster 16 has completed key installations with both vehicles nearly ready for flight 10 happen this month and break. SpaceX run around record. Let's dive into all the details in today's episode of SpaceX Saga. First off, booster 16 has been leading the charge just one week after the successful flight 9 B16. Surprise everyone with an early rollout of static wire. The test went off without a hack engine's ignitic system and responded and expected, and performance appeared nominal. With post timing hardware now full integrated and flat termination system installed, B16 is enhancing closer to the launch pad. Meanwhile, the tension has grown to ship 36. It has transported it to the Mercury test site on June 15 and secured to the stand on the same day. The very next morning, pre-test operations began by early afternoon testing was underway with microjetting loading reaching around a third of the LOX tank and a small amount of liquid methane, added also modest in scale. There are still negotiable venting and activity around the vehicle. The came the big momentum, a single ignition likely meant to militate reliability capability in space. The Indian fired for around 6 to 7 second generation and estimated 230 tons of thrust. A successful relied in critical for the operation, orbital operation and minorious something attempt in earlier flight. But missing from more recent missions, what made this test even more important was the visible action of ship 36, forward and flat. These are the primary control surfaces during atmospheric re-entry moving them. During testing, helps verify and a critical re-entry hardware is fundamentally and expected. This was only the beginning of full Six engine static fire is, is expected within days, possibly lasting up to all full minutes. Will test will evaluate cross balancing engine suppress behavior and high load system. Performance across all flights remains from stage pressure for orbital insertion and landing burn. If successful, Ship 36 will be moved back to the production site later. This week, for finally pre playout installation, FPS attachment, and launch configuration. All of this could warp up before the weekend. If both stages remain on track, a rollout of the orbital launch pad could happen within days, making up June flight still possible. And if SpaceX does manage to launch flight 10 before June 30, if we set a new report of the fastest starship turn around the crunch course stands and 37 days between flight 5 and flight 6, a June 30 launch will bring us down of just 34 days, making a major milestone and launch condensed. This piece is critical for the future in 2024. SpaceX completed four Starship flights. With Flight 10, it will already make the total and the 2025 still has a six month left. If momentum continues, a 5th or 11th six launch this year seems highly likely. A lot of long-term goal is clear. Scale operation of dozens of flights per year, their starts with back-to-back -back success, performance and hardware, reliability flight 10 is the proving around for the vision. But there are still hurdles ahead, several technical issues from flight 9, need revelation like the ship 29, Planet, leak manufacturing, player separation, and booster ignite anomalies re entry. Due to the higher than expected angle of attacks, also remain the concerns behind hardware. There are regulatory matters. The FAA is still reviewing mishap report from Flight 9, particularly debris and reached part of Mexico. Fortunately, the FAA has already said it there will not damage to people or property and has limited ignition of ship 29. Excluding the booster, the dramatically improves odds of getting approval from launch this month. So will flight and make history before June ends. Let you know this what a yes or no in the comments and drop of your guess on the launch date. 
I was thinking July first last week, but now I am getting a June twenty eight. Now let's provide a different story. The uncertain path of the ULA R five. ULA latest R five launch during Amazon's second batch of the project Kuiper satellite was scheduled on the June sixteen, but just hours before lift up a technical anomaly force at play and rolling deep. ULA latest R5 launch crying Amazon's second batch of project. Kuiper satellite was scheduled for June 16, but just hours before lift off, a technical anomaly force a day and a relented probe temperature was detected inside the booster engine. ULA CEO Tore Barno later confirmed the problem and was tried on the GN2 product line, responsible of the maintaining clean cool conditions in the engine pre-ignitions. The issue couldn't be resolved during the countdown, forcing a complete stand down. While the search system sound keen there, the mission critical a temperature imbalance could lead to overheating before launch. Damaging the engine in the case, the engine is costed in a Russian made RD 180. It's reliable, but egging and uh, geopolitical tensions have made sport uncertainly difficult. The bigger concerns this isn't an isolated issue, it points to a growing challenge for the ULA and its egging fleet with only 13 R5 rockets. Remaining every setback ties the window for the program and depend on it like Amazon Kuiper. Amazon choose not to partner with SpaceX for Kuiper, launch likely due to the corporate instituted debt pair. Blogan, Eugene, and ULA, Vulcan, and European Aero 6. But None of these rockets have yet proven this readiness to scale. Vulcan is grounded due to solid booster issues. Ariane 6 has faced years of delays, and Nutrien, while promising its steel far from operational, so R5 was called back to its service, but now it too is chewing. Ariane 6 has faced year of delay. A New Zealand while promising a steel for for operational so R5 has become into service, but now it to its showing cracks. For Project Kuiper, which needs over 80 successful launches to deploy its 3,200 satellites, blaze like its costly starling in comparison continues to grow its leads in both launch and global coverage. ULA has yet to announce a new date of the Kuiper mission. This team is now forced on resolving the third line issue and ensuring the rocket is safe. For flight, the outcome will shape not just Kuiper's immediate future, but the greater outlook of the R5 and its remaining mission, including six more Kuiper flight and the survival Starliner mission. For now, Starship stand to building momentum while R5 faces the challenging of the aging infrastructure and limited time. Different strategy between these two programs is becoming more apparent with every passing week. This was being Kevin in the SpaceX saga. So, if you to like, subscribe, and turn on notification so you ever miss an update in a new era of space exploration. Thanks for the watching.